up on Who's the Boss and into beautiful and talented star of Charmed, and she gushes about the enduring love of her life in her new book, Safe at Home. Please welcome Alyssa Milano. She so played Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. No. Yes, you did. I didn't. You no. didn't? No. Well, you should. I think that was Jennifer Love Hewitt. Well, you Jennifer look just as pretty as Audrey Hepburn. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. So when I, was, yeah, just one thing, when I was a little girl, I watched your one-woman show over and over and over, and it actually inspired me to to want to be a better actress. Oh, At, you wow. know, a little girl. What, what year was it? I'm trying to figure out. 1980. Mm, yes, I was a teenager. <laughs> I, I, I was a teenager. No, you were, a little, you were a little kid. I remember yeah. the first time I met you. I was on your set with uh, Tony. Tony. Oh, Tony yeah. Danza. Oh, my gosh. And you, but you started that when you were 10. I feel like I, I saw every single episode. Really? Yes. I just loved it. I loved you on there. I just did. I wanted to be there. Oh, you were just Look the best. bangs. <laughs> But that was, how did that all happen? Because you were 10, actually, right? I was 10 when we shot the pilot, 11 the first year. And it was one of those crazy things. I went mm -hmm. in for an audition in New York mm -hmm. um, for a TV show called You're the Boss. Oh. Uh, it wasn't Who's the Boss yet. And the next day, they said to me, um, we would like for you to fly in to Los Angeles to audition with Tony Danza, who to me was the cute guy from Taxi. Yeah. That's right. the only thing I knew him right. from. Um, and I tested, which is you know a term they use for auditioning in front of the network, which is a very intimidating process. Yeah. Oh, it's awful. And I was, it was yes. awful. Um, and I was 10 years old, and I found out I got the, the part right there and then. Yeah. And so the, for the first year of the season, the, the series, I actually moved to Los Angeles with my dad because my mom... She had to stay behind with your brother. She stayed yeah. behind with my brother because she was like, why would we move to L.A. when we don't know if this show is... Is gonna actually go. gonna go. Wow. Well, that's you know? smart. That's true. It was very she smart. She was a successful business, too. She was a designer. She was a right? designer at the time, and it was really about, like, you know, are they going to basically give up everything that they've worked for this, for, for this. show that you don't know. And I, right. But, you know, when you came out here with your dad, you guys weren't especially close, and you said that, you know, you would go to baseball games all the time, and yeah. that's how you bonded. Is that what happened? Well, I remember being in Los Angeles in this small little one-bedroom apartment in Studio City, and I missed my mom and my brother so much, and I remembered hearing the baseball game in the other room, and my dad was watching the Dodgers. And I walked into the other room, and suddenly I felt like, you know, I was, I was back in this place that I w knew that was familiar mm -hmm. to me, because baseball was always such a big part of our household. Yeah. Um, and it was, you know, it was, it was just reminiscent of being home with my mom, and that's sort of how it, it, my love began. I mean, I didn't get obsessed until I was <laughs> in my 20s. Um, well, but I, I want to read a quote from your book, okay. which is about baseball. Mm -hmm. She says, other women dream of papaya facials and mango pedicures. Give me a hot dog, a pitcher's duel, and a late inning suicide squeeze, and I melt <laughs> like hot pine tar. I love suicide squeezes. <laughs> <laughs> a little verbose in that part. <laughs> what, for folks who, because you're a diehard baseball fan, mm -hmm. for people who don't necessarily watch, what is it about baseball? Oh, I think it's so many things. I mean, for me, it's such a generational gift mm -hmm. that grandfathers and fathers pass down to their children. Um, and the history is so rich, mm -hmm. um, you know, with, with Jackie Robinson and Roberto Clemente. There were all these heroes that really did outstanding things, regardless of the time we're in right now with mm -hmm. baseball. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I feel like baseball, going to a baseball game is the only sense of community that mm -hmm. we have left. We're in such a time where as little human contact as possible is preferable, mm -hmm. you you know, if we have a way to talk to like a machine and push a button yeah. rather than actually talk to sure, a human we being, sure. we do it. And I feel like for me, you know, I've had Dodger season tickets for six years and I watched the girl four rows in front of me go to college. I called the couple in front of me, my, my aunt and uncle. You know, and it's just the sense of community that I don't know where else you get. But are you worried right. about think... the steroid scandal destroying all of that? I think that we're in a tough time, but baseball has overcome lots of scandals. <laughs> and they are, you know, the, the baseball players have always looked for an edge. And I think because we're in such a 
sort of pharmaceutical generation, I think it's very uh, sort of, it, it's, it's running parallel to where we are socially, right. you know, and, and two more hits a week is right. millions right. It more. Is. It is. So I don't it makes blame a difference them. contractually, for I don't sure. blame the players for, for doing it. I don't condone it, but I, I can see yeah, how I mean, it, com- it is there's attractive. Some, there's temptation the com- there, and I think we yeah. need, they, there needs to be, we need to overcome that. What about, do you think your love of the game is what drew you to? Because you, you were with three baseball players romantically, Ooh. and you talk about it in the Crazy, book. Right? Carl Provano, <laughs> Barry Zito, and Brad Penny. Cute girl. All pitchers. <laughs> is it no shortstops? Yeah. No catchers? No. Why no. the pitchers? I don't know. It just, it it just, just happened. happened that way. It was never, it was never a thing. <laughs> yeah. I think it's about like being up on the mound yeah, or something. I don't know. I don't know. know. But I think, you know, I've got, I've gotten yeah. so much. Um, but sort you're of, engaged. You're not engaged. She's engaged. It's like hot pine tar. <laughs> we you are not engaged to a baseball glad. player, are you? No. no. But they're no, great. But he's you know, very upset that I keep saying he's not an athlete. Oh, because he, he is an is. athlete. He, but is. he just it doesn't way. do it for a living. Alyssa, we're so glad you came. Thank you so much. Everyone in the audience is going home with a copy of her book. Save it home.